Well, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another exciting video out here with a special guest. We got my brother Alex and we are at this beautiful lake right here. And it is full of fat, healthy rainbows. There's some nice fish in here and there are some brook trout. I've never really been able to figure them out, but we might catch one hopefully. But yeah, he's gonna be throwing a gulp minnow on the spinning rod and I'm just gonna be throwing some woolly buggers for these fish. They're usually ready to eat just about anything this time of year. And like I said, they get pretty big. So yeah, we're gonna catch some fish and later in the day we'll do a little catch and cook, of course, but yeah, let's get into some fish. Stay tuned. I'm just gonna be throwing this green weighted woolly bugger around and it shouldn't be too long before one of us gets bit. Like I said, there's brook trout in here too, and it is fall, so they should be coming up shallow and looking for spots to spawn, but so far I haven't seen any. Ugh. Already gotta go get a snag out. Yeah, you're probably gonna lose this hook. Well, so far not a single follow, not a bump with this or the gulp minnow, kind of unusual. So we're gonna walk around this shoreline over there. I think it gets a little bit deeper along that side, so oh, we'll try it out. Hmm. They're either just not on this side of the lake or they're not biting. It is, of course, the one day I actually bring someone they're not biting. I'm gonna say it's because the sun is high in the sky. Now I've always done really well right here usually if if we don't get anything here within the next 20 minutes i think we need to move to lake oh there's a bite there's a bite there was the first bite of the day got him there we go second cast at this spot that's a chunky rainbow maybe this is the spot yeah so just cast out right where i was did you see where i was yeah, just throw it out right there. This isn't a bad fish. Oh, oh. almost died. Nice. There's a fish, finally. It took longer than it should have. Maybe we were just in the wrong spot. Nice. Yeah, dude, that's a stud rainbow. I'll take that all day. Beautiful little rainbow trout on that green woolly bugger. First fish of the day, we'll let it go. Thank you for biting, sir. Like I said, Alex, don't let it sink too much right there because it does get kind of shallow. And I would go out on a further rock. Yep, perfect, right there. And then cast as far as you can straight out. Now count down about 10 seconds right there. Just do what I showed you. Lift it up a little bit and just reel in a little bit of that slack. And you will know when you get a fish. It'll just grab on and run with it. Oh, did you see that? Oh my goodness, I wasn't even paying attention. One just like shot my line off. So right when your line starts to go, just set the hook. Like right there. My line started to go, and I just set the hook. There we go. And this one's, this is just a little guy. Probably just lift him up real quick. Nice, number two. Oh dude, what dude? Look at this guy's mouth. He's all jacked up. You got a nibble? Set the hook, set the hook, you got him. Got him? Yeah. Doubled up, doubled up. I'll let this guy go real quick. Hold on, don't reel up too much. Here, I'll get the net for you. Just let him swim around for a second. Heck yeah. Let out some line. Oh, guide him in my net, there you go. Nice, that's a nice rainbow. Oh, I think he might have swallowed it, dude. And that's why gulp minnows work so well. Well, we have our first fish that we're gonna keep. This dude swallowed it. Well, that's all right. We're gonna do a catch and cook anyway. There we go. We're gonna keep that fish. He's bleeding quite a bit. Nice, well, we have some dinner. We might keep another one because there's two of us, but nice job, dude. All right, so we're gonna take this fish and just pack him in some snow so he stays nice and fresh. It did snow last night. Alex is hooked up. Nice. Does it feel like it's a good one? Immediately after switching to a new minnow. All right, bring him over here. That is a good one. Just kind of guide his head into the net. Nice. That was like instantly after switching to a new minnow and tossing it down there. 
Did he swallow it too? Oh no. Oh no. Yep, it is down his throat. <laughs> I'm telling you, the second you feel the bite, you gotta set the hook. He is not gonna survive. Hey, you oh. got your minnow back though. Nice, that's the second fish for Alex. Another keeper. Good thing that we can both keep a limit of four because so far <laughs> they're uh, swallowing the gulp minnow. Sweet, well, we'll add that guy to our pile of fish. You got one? Dude, another one. Holy cow, I can't even get tied on because he's just catching fish. Wow, not a, well, that's a nice one. Please don't tell me he swallowed this one. I swear he I think he did. Why are they so fast? Dude, you're gonna limit out. Well, this guy did swallow it, so I just cut the line. We're gonna let him go. Goodness. Yeah, good job. All right, so I have switched to this white balanced leech with a yellow head. This one was actually uh, tied by a subscriber, Carl. And hopefully they want this. So far, I mean, the gulp minnows, they're all over. And I've still only caught two. And I've had one other bite. All right, what happened? What happened? Yeah, he just broke off the last hook I had. So to make it a little bit more fair, he's gonna use some flies too. All right, so we got a purple woolly bugger on for him. And I'm just still using that white balance leech. We'll see who gets bit first now that the gulp minnows are out of the equation. Are you serious? Did you cast it back out there? Oh my gosh, you guys just missed it, but he just had one on that woolly bugger. Like right when he cast it out. <laughs> There we go, there we go. I saw one jump right there, cast it straight over. We got him, oh my gosh, and he popped off. What the heck? There we go, picked it up right off the bottom. That's a nice one, that's a nicer one. I think I'm gonna keep this guy. There we go, you wanna net it for me? He's seconds away from popping off, I can I just know it. Yeah! Woohoo! It's the third fish of the day for me. Still no giants yet. There are some nice rainbows in this lake, but I mean, we haven't seen them so far. Not a bad fish. On that white balance leech. Oh! Oh, oh he's in the net! He's in the net! <laughs> yeah! That was lucky. Okay. Go ahead and knock this guy out real quick. Let's get another one. There we go, next cast. Dude, I think they're stacked over here. We might have found them. Another one the same size. Nice. Cool, cool, just pop that hook out and get him back. There we go. There we go, there's one. Another one right next to this beaver hut. Same size, these are all cookie cutters. Get out of there, get, oh, he's going straight into those logs. Ooh, that's a fatty. Cool, another one. There we go, another nice rainbow. I think that's number six for me, five or six. Don't know where the big ones are at, but for now, these will do. They're fun, they fight hard. See you later. Hey, it's been a while since you've caught one. Come on, we need to double up. I have a feeling I'm getting one right here. Guaranteed. Oh. I just saw my line start to go. Just let it sink to the bottom. Please be a good one, but it's probably not gonna be. I mean, these rainbows fight so hard, they all feel like good ones. That's yeah, not bad. Where's my net? Uh, seven, I think. Nice. <laughs> hey, get down there and let it sink all the way to the bottom. Another nice one. Heck yeah. Nice. Chunky little bow. Man, this is fun. I was getting a little scared I was gonna be outfished by you. There we go, another one. This one feels nice, this is a good one. Nice, come on, man. <laughs> Sweet, get him right in our net. <laughs> there we go, a little bit bigger. On that white balance leech. Quick catch and release for this guy, thank you. So Alex hasn't caught one in a while, so I got him set up with his little black balance leech and an indicator. He's fishing about five feet down. Hopefully he can get one. 
Got one, got one, got one, got one. You got him? I got him. Nice. Get over here. Yep, you gotta watch that indicator. Okay, bring him right to the net. On the fly, is that your first fish on the fly? Not on a fly rod, but it's on a fly. That's a good fish. Nice fish, dude. On that black leech. That's your first fish ever on a fly. There we go. Nice fish, dude. Okay. Okay. There we go. I guess so. <laughs> nice job. Oh, I just had a... Yep. <laughs> yep, right when it hit the water. This one feels better. But sometimes the smallest ones fight the hardest. Oh, it's not bad. Not a bad fish. Yeah, dude. That's a fatty. <sighs> you got one? Doubled up, baby. Doubled up. <laughs> I'll net mine. And I'll net yours. Got him. <laughs> Oh, and he just popped off. He just popped off. Heck yeah, dude. Oh. Double up. That was sweet. Here we go. Two chunky rainbows. I can't I can't even really remember which one mine is, but there we go. <laughs> Doubled up. Couple nice rainbows. Yep. Sweet. We'll get them back. Anyways. <laughs> All right. All right. See you guys later. Yeah, we shouldn't do this again anyway. Oh, of course they. Of course they're playing dead now. There he goes. Come on, buddy. You're okay. There he goes. Nice. Doubled up, dude. Let's get back out there. Hooked up. Alex is hooked up. Ooh, that is a good one. Oh, no, no. Oh. Bring him to me. No. Oh, I thought he was in the net. Nice. There you go. Got him on that black leech. Nice fish. Yep. Well, cool. All right, send him back. <laughs> there he is. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, 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 dude, this is a good fish. Hey, yo, this is a good fish. Nope, 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 nope. This is actually this. This is the biggest one of the day. This is the biggest one of the day. Oh, baby. No, it's not. What the heck, dude? He came up and he looked way bigger. It's actually not a bad one, though. Cool. This is the biggest one of the day. That is a chunky rainbow. Heck yeah. There we go. That's my biggest fish of the day. And I think that's the biggest one either of us have caught. Not a huge one. I've caught bigger ones in here for sure, but they're just not really biting today. So it's kind of what we're working with. Biggest one. We'll let him go. Nice rainbow. Later. Oh, there we go. Crushed it right there. Nice. This will be the last one. A nice, respectable little rainbow. You got the net. Ah, whatever. I'll just get them off. Nice. Nice. There we go. That'll be the last fish of the day for us. Cute little guy. All right. Thanks for biting. There he goes. All right, let's go cook. All right, guys, it is cooking time. We have our three rainbow trout right there. Two of them were caught by Alex and I caught one of them. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and fillet them here. Uh, I don't have my cutting board, so I'm just using the lid to my bin. And this is also a super dull fillet knife. We're gonna make it work for now, as long as we can get most of the meat off it. And we're gonna keep the skin on. There we go. Nice little orange fillet. These fish haven't been in that lake too long, so they're not super orange, but they'll taste pretty good. All right, guys, so we have all the fillets right there. Didn't do, I, I did a pretty bad job, but I had a dull fillet knife and I was doing it storage bin lid. So, I mean, we did pretty good. We are gonna go ahead and just fry them up in some butter and seasoning on our Coleman burner right here. Super simple. And yeah, I know I need to clean this off. I know it's filthy. We couldn't find a lighter for about 15 minutes. We we're kind of freaking out, but we found one. Go ahead and light up the stove. There we go. The first thing we'll do, take a little butter, of course, or a lot of butter. 
melt that down. Now we'll put just a touch of vegetable oil in there. Let that melt. So we've got six fillets. I don't know. I mean, are you that hungry? I'm pretty hungry. We'll go ahead and cook four of them. And then if we want more, we'll cook the other two. And for seasoning, we have zesty lemon seasoning. All right, so we'll take these fillets. Go ahead and sit them in there. See if we can fit all four in there. It'll be a tight fit, I think we can do it. One more. Okay, yeah, we can make that work. Ugh, stupid thing, flatten out. Don't put too much on there because it is very zesty and strong. Oh! It's so hard to have a shake. Go ahead and try to spread some of that around. Got it. Ah! Dude. Gotta spread that around. Here, let me ah! see. It. Let me see. I it. stepped in see. a cow pie. Sprinkle a little bit of that over them. And we got a little bit of dill weed, which is really good on fish. Lemon and dill weed. Alright, there we go. Dill weed at it. Looking good, smelling good, cooking up nicely. I stepped in that cow pie like twice. Yeah, vans were not the best shoes to wear today. Yeah, well, guess what? All right, so these fish are mostly cooked. I'm just gonna go ahead and flip them with the bass spatula, bass spatula, given to me by Alex. Go ahead and flip these guys. We need a smaller spatula. There we go. All right, so then we'll go ahead and take off the skin. Should be able to just peel it right off. There it goes. Then we'll season up with a little bit more of this stuff. Just a little bit. Just a dusting. All right, so these guys are definitely done. They're crumbling apart. Ooh, oh, wow. Maybe a little overdone. Got a little blackening right there, which isn't a bad thing. Oh, look at that one. Perfect golden brown. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah, it doesn't actually look too bad. I like them a little crispy like that, so looks perfect to me. We're gonna leave the heat just barely on. We'll go ahead and eat them. All right, I'll try it first here. I don't know where my forks went. I have like three forks and a pair of tongs. No idea where they went. So for now, we're just using a spoon. There we go. I like that little burnt flavor. I'm not even kidding, that's good. A little burnt. I like that a lot. Get a piece of the, here, get that piece right there. Try that piece. Mm. Oh, zesty. Is it hot? It's hot, but it's good. Is it actually? You don't have to lie. It's, no, it's actually good. Yeah, I swear. I mean, I, it actually is very. It tastes like victory. Mm. That's actually really good. It is. The only problem is the pin bones. They're kind of annoying. Woo! Do you even vape, bro? So much fun, man. All right, well, I think we're gonna save these two fillets for later. We're just gonna throw them in a Ziploc bag and take them home. But that is that's some good fish right there. Super fun way to end the day. To be honest, fishing wasn't amazing. And I know we caught like, I don't know, 15, 16 uh, between the two of us. So not a bad day, but I mean, and I've caught a lot bigger ones. I don't know where they were today. But either way, it was fun. Always fun catching fish. And you caught your first two fish on a fly. Next, we actually got to get you a fly rod. We're going to finish this up and head out of here. It's actually getting really cold. It's freezing. There was ice on the water this morning. My and as you piggies. can see. I can't feel my little piggies. <laughs> And yeah, as you can see, I mean, it snowed last night. But if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. 
we would really appreciate it. But other than that, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.